Okay, it's me again. Um, so, on the storage adapters, we have now uh, visibility on the 100 gigabyte. So, if we click on storage, and then we say add storage, and we will add uh, an ice cassis. We say next, we click, click next, and then <coughs> select that one as the open filer, and then click next. And click next, and we will just say this one as um, open share one data store. Um, you know what? We'll play with the capacity, so we'll just, just add 60 gig for now. So we have the ability to show later on that we can make that one extended and we click finish and it should show 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 there and we can create another uh, we can create a bm now and I'm putting to that one and we can do b motion later on Second ESX or ESX2, let's configure now the next what's working first. Um, we need to add the next version, we need to add the ice cassie. Um, we will use beta BM neck one, which is connected to the Now we don't have few one options. We'll play B motion like we did earlier. Let's verify again if it's really ice cassie. Uh, let's try again. I don't want to try to make this ice cassie. Let's play where it is. Where the I to add. Okay, we use the this one. Step 12 because the ESX one is step 11. adapters uh, select this one properties and enable the ice cast to click ok and choose this one it goes on top again after you enable the ice cassie and you need to go to the stuff which is called render and click add so I put a uh, ice cassie server there it is just that then and uh, the target that I saved and then the job I will not choose job save will not choose job and then I choose job and then click ok and it should come out here that it was covered yes it was covered and then let's close it and now we need to go to the scanner we didn't add because we haven't added it here so let's save we need to add it there and we need to add it on the iSCSI targets here on the network ATL we should allow this one to update now when we come back to the network adapters iSCSI we should just scan this one and we should see it and it see it so we on the storage weird <laughs> I haven't added that yet how come it's automatically added anyway let's review ESX1.10 on the networking it needs to have ice cousin in like this and it's supposed to be the same on the ESX2 which is that 11 supposed to be different IP this is that 12 this is that 11 but they're supposed to have the same name and on the storage they supposed to have share one and 
SX2 is supposed to be shareware as well. Okay, so we finish the connection on now oh, open fire installation configuration on the ESX. Um, the next one will be uh, installing the B Sender.